In this video, we're going to look at analysis and measurement. Click on Project, Import CAD file, and then click the Open button. NetFab can read a wide variety of CAD files, including an IGES file, which is what we'll read here. Double click on the cassette IGES file. As this is a, an IGES model, we can control the level of detail. For example, we can choose high detail to add more triangles to the part and give us a more accurate result. For a simple prototype, medium or low detail may actually be enough. When the part is retriangulated, click Import. In this case, the triangulation is not quite perfect. But we can repair that quickly and simply using the repair module and then running the extended repair script. Choose that and click Execute. Once the repair is completed, apply it. If you wish, you can remove the old part so that you only have a single STL model. The analysis icon gives you access to a, a range of different analysis tools, such as standard analysis. This will show you the volume of the part, its size in X, Y and Z, the surface area, and the number of triangles, and so on. It will also show you whether the part is closed and whether it is fully oriented. You can also check to see the up and down skins of the part. In this case, we'll only analyze down skins, so up skins can be turned off. And then click Analyze Skins. Any triangles that are face com facing completely downwards are highlighted in red and this gives you a good indication of how much support you're going to need to give the part in order to successfully build it. We can also check for the centre of gravity of the part and work out exactly where that is located. Another important measurement is the wall thickness. Just to highlight this a little, I'm going to change the wall thickness to nearly one millimeter. And now any area of the part where there is less than one millimeter of wall thickness will be highlighted in red. This shows you regions of the part that could be very weak or could be difficult to print. To remove an item from the tree, simply double click the red X at the side. To measure dimensions on the part, click the measure icon. We can now take a distance between any two points. This is a simple linear distance. To move the position of the tag to make it more visible, simply drag it to a new location. To measure a radius or a diameter, click the diameter icon and then click the circle that you want to measure. You can measure circles using three points. You can measure the distance between two parallel lines. Or between a point and a line. Or 
or an angular measurement between two lines or any combination chosen from the menus. This gives you a quick and easy way of finding out exact sizes and dimensions of the part that you're working on.